Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. After a few tense moments in mission control with flight controllers scrambling to solve a last minute problem with the navigation system. I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the, on the surface and we are transmitting and uh, welcome to the moon. NASA announces what it calls another giant step forward for mankind. Today for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Today, for the first time in the history of humanity, a commercial company, an American company, launched and led the voyage up there. And lift off. The unmanned Nova Sea Lunar Lander, the Odysseus, launched from the Kennedy Space Center seven days ago, taking these photos along the way. Everything that we learn from being able to succeed there brings back benefits to Earth. On board are Canadian cameras, Eagle Cam, designed to deploy right before landing to take the first ever selfie of a lander touching down, and another that could capture the first images of the Milky Way from the lunar surface. And it'll be the first for, for the scientists, for the engineers, but also for, for the public to see what a, how, how it is to land on the surface of the moon. On touchdown, the lander was transmitting, but its status wasn't immediately clear. Other countries have successfully landed unmanned spacecraft. A Japanese one landed earlier this year but ran out of power shortly after. Experts say all attempts are building toward the ultimate mission of sending people back to the moon. Jeremy Hansen! The Artemis II mission in which Jeremy Hansen will make history as the first Canadian to travel to the moon. We've learned a lot from the Apollo missions, but we've now got even more questions driving us to go back. Other companies are also planning to send spacecraft to the moon, but right now, all eyes are on the Odysseus to see what it can achieve. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.